Hey guys, what's going on? This is always back with another tutorial of Java Central Training Series. So this video is going to be about arrays. So normally array is a collection of similar type of elements that have a contiguous memory location. Java array is an object that contains elements of a similar data type. It's a data structure where we can store similar added items. So we can store only fixed set of items in Java array. So there are two types of array available in Java. That's a single dimensional array and a multi-dimensional array. So first we're gonna look at single dimensional array. So the advantages of Java array is it can make code optimized. We can retrieve or sort the data easily. We can get any data located at any index number. So indexing in array start from zero. So I'm gonna go and start creating an array now. So I will explain that while we go. All right, so first of all, I'm going to import um, my scanner class import java.util.scanner with the semicolon at the end. All right, so to, uh, the syntax of uh, creating an array is basically, first of all, you need to define what kind of array you are making. Is it double, is it an integer, is it a string or float? So I'm gonna create a double data type array. So type double, okay? And then to create an array, to tell the computer that it's an array, you need to use square brackets, okay? So now the computer knows that we are creating an array. Next, what's the variable name? So I'm going to say, um, prices. So basically I'm making a program of a grocery list. So let's say you have 100 items, right? And you need, um, if you're not creating an array for that program, you need to create 100 string variables to store the item names and uh, you need uh, another 100 variables to store its prices. So I'm going to create a um, variable prices, okay? And then it's equal to, and now you need to use the keyword new and then data type again which is double and then i'm going to create uh, how many uh, values we need to store in the prices so i'm gonna say five values right so the five values is basically has index so start from zero to four that's going to be five values okay and then semicolon at the end so we have created an array but before that i'm going to use that scanner class but i want a values from the console okay so I use scanner okay and then say in is a variable is equal to new scanner again and i'm going to get value from system so system dot in okay so now we have created an array and we're going to use that array um, to get input from this console okay so I'm going to print out to the system now that um, enter five values. So I'm going to say system.out.println. Okay, and then say enter five values, semicolon at the end. Now we need to use that array. So to use that array, simply type the variable name, prices, okay, and then um, brackets sorry um yeah single uh, square brackets and then said index so we have five values in the prices so i'm going to start with the zero so zero is equal to i'm going to say in okay which is a scanner class in there okay and then i'm going to place a decimal point and it's a double array right so data type is double so i'm going to use a next double and then semicolon at the end. So I'm going to copy and paste this five times. Copy this and paste it five times. One, two, three, four, five, okay. Now let's use um, index one, two, three, oops, three, four, right? So we have five values. We have defined five index of five uh, values for the prices as well so it's one two three four five and then we're going to get input from the console right all right so now i'm going to add another variable which is going to be a double it's a data type and i'm going to say total is equal to i'm going to use the prices and i'm going to use square brackets zero 
okay so I'm going to use the plus operator for adding the prices together so let's copy and paste this five times to save the time okay copy and let's say paste 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 so one two three four five you don't need um, plus operator at the end you need to put semicolon all right so I'm going to change so add price zero one and then one and then two three four so basically the five values so I'm going to change that to one change this to two and change this to three and four okay so we got a double um, total variable which has a double data type and we are adding these five values in that array enter now let's print out the result on the console so let's say s out for system out dot print line i'm going to say uh in a square in a double quotes the total values of all item all five items okay and then plus and then the variable total done let's run this program Okay, now it's asking me to enter five values. I'm going to say five. I can uh, go for a decimal point as well because my array has a double data type. Okay, so let's say 5.3, 4.2, 6, 7.2. That's a random word. So the result I'm having is 27.7. Okay, here I'm going to change a formatter here. So instead of using println, I'm going to use printf okay and then here in the double quotes i'm going to add a modifier so with the dollar sign on the left and the modifier style with the percentage sign and i want i have five items and i'm going to put a decimal and i want two values on the right so two and then i'm going to make it um, float so this is a float value so i'm going to type f Okay, so here when you use the printf formatter, you need to use the comma instead of plus operator. All right, so now let's run the program again. All right, so now let's say I will write 3, 3.5, 2.5, 3.2, 1.2. All right, so now as you can see that the total value of all five atoms are $13. Point forty cents. Okay, so that's how you define the formatter as well. So that was a single dimensional array. All right, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial, and the next video is going to be about switch statement. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching again. Talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.